Anything good? Anything potentially bad going into this set? One thing I did notice was uh, Carflow's punish game was uh, pretty on point uh, in, in my game with him. So it looks like we're already going to be seeing that. Ooh, yeah. 42 and Jen already off stage, getting so much off of just the one there. Roy can, Roy can really just do so much. Yeah, trying true, to fight their way back. A true human cannonball is Roy when he starts getting going, and that's exactly what Carflow wants to do. He dashes back to, or in that case, rolls to get some space, and then just goes head head first into Jen's space and breaks through that zone that Palutena can like to set up. Oh, I almost, I love that ledge trump. Mm -hmm. Really trying to keep the pressure on and swing it for the fences. Yeah, that could have been uh, the kill if Jen was in a worse position. But right now, Jen now in the driver's seat with Carflow offstage. That's going to be a punish. Oh, and he gets the very late hit of down toe in order to keep it coming. And the, the there two we go. frame. Yeah, clean stuff from Jen, wrapping it up. He realizes Roy can have an advantage early in, uh, early in stocks, and especially with these tech chase scenarios that he can get off of down tilt. But if you keep a cool head, then Roy's aggressive nature won't fly against Powhatan's boxing tools. And there we go. We're already seeing Jen breaking out the uh, platform cancels. And Jab into Fair going to be putting Carflow on the board. Dead even game, two stocks, zero percentage. Ooh, Jen looking for a couple platform mix-ups, but instead just decides to take center stage and Carflow doing what he does best, just rolling with the punches. Here he comes trying to space out these swords and finds the overshot in there and gets two fares. That just seems like it's not only a Roy bread and butter, but he's been hitting it cleanly today, Absolutely. as you mentioned. Oh, there's that nair. There we go. Just clipping Carflow with that nair. Wow, he didn't full hop so that he fell out of Nair, wasn't able to get the final hit to keep it going. But Jen, quick with the turnarounds, able to find that back air, finding another one, and that air dodge is going to seal your fate. Jen closing out the second stock in pretty dominant fashion with 46 now. He has a, he has a chance to start utilizing uh, some of Palutena's more frustrating moves in her kit, to mm -hmm. say the least. Things like uh, back air, for instance. Things like that dash attack, trying to bully through Carflow as he gets desperate for the kill. but. I like how Carflow has stayed a little bit back, yet finding that Nair combo off of Ledge's Jen, and it confirmed into 60. Yeah, I know. That's and something that I've been seeing so far with Jen's gameplay is Jen is doing such a good job of finishing his plate when it comes to these Ledge scenarios. I think both times Carflow lost his stock, uh, I think he was put off stage and then just couldn't get back. Uh, Jen was able to just extend the sequence so much, and here we go. This could be it for Carflow, but all right, finally fighting his way out with the forward air. Get caught with that Ooh. explosive flame, though. Yeah, a great trade for Jen as he was just able to utilize the teleport to get right back to stage. Not skip, skipping ledge, skipping yeah, the no. ledge phase, not even trying to make Carflow think that he was still an advantage or still like maybe even won that trade. Now Jen is striking while the iron's hot and get confirming that two stock at the end of the day. So now we get to see Carflow start to reconsider stages, but he's a Fire Emblem character. He's going to Smashville. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, and here, yeah, no, no change of characters, no experimenting from Jen. I agree. I agree from, from both parties. Oh, man. Get a nice, a nice clean look at some of these edge guards. I've been really, been really liking how Jen has decided to work his way back into uh, into the folds of Smash Ultimate, to say the least. Like after not really playing much over quarantine, he's found his he's found his wiggle room, and I, once once again he's found his uh, he's found his mojo, I guess. He's found his groove over the over the past few Xenos, really starting to figure out how to play uh, how he wants to play this. Uh, Yet again, newer version of Palutena, yet with some yet more nerfs coming her way, and it's looking strong right here because he's not trying to do some of the previous uh, crazier combos that uh, Palu can do, or do some of the the traps and the set play that she can do. She's just playing like the a quote unquote an oppressive neutral, mm -hmm. and that kind of setup can certainly work for a character who just has all of the base attributes and solid tools, even if she doesn't have the most truest combos. Mm -hmm. As we see the first stock drop from Jen after just playing that smash mouth neutral gameplay that Palutena can overwhelm you with. Oh, oh man. Jen <laughs> wanted the second stock immediately. 
And when you get so comfortable, like on the when you get so comfortable on the uh, on the crackback, just kind of punishing Carfo for these overextensions, then he can really uh, he can get over he can get surprised with the mix-up when Jen decides to go on the offensive and take the play to him. Oh Even that buffered nair off of ledge, so good. Yeah, no, Carflo wanted the uh, the ledge trump, but Jen was ready for it. There we go. Finally, up tilt going to be taking Jen's first stock. 61% on Carflo, not not particularly a mountain to climb, especially with Carflo's punish game, like we've talked about before. Yeah, no, stage like Smash Bros. gets really hard to run away from Jen here, who is. Uh, it's really hard to run away from Carflo should he decide to push the envelope a little bit, but. Jen is doing a great job of not only spacing himself out, but almost undershooting his air, uh, undershooting a lot of his aerials to keep himself covered. These fade back bears are doing, putting in so much work. Yet yeah, one hit from Carflow and suddenly he is at 43 and getting the sour, the sour spot fair, yeah. finding his way down. It was a bit ago, but I do, I do want to say I loved the uh, shield poke up tilt from Jen. We saw just just a bit ago. That was so smart uh, with the pressure. Right, here he comes down. Throwing out some of these fares, gets it down tilt, but not able to uh, to follow up with the F smash afterwards. Just a little bit too far, mm -hmm. and now Jen gets to play his ledge, gets to see what he's got. Down throw, missing the fair. All right, yeah, Carflo is Carflo's had enough of Jen's uh, <laughs> dash back nonsense. It's like, ooh, really jumping right go. over the down tilt. Okay, yeah. I love to see it from Carflo. I was gonna say Jen's been playing uh, the ledge. Uh, at disadvantage. Oh, oh, that's a dead boy. That was like so anticlimactic. It was. <laughs> that was the saddest little neutral bee I've ever seen. Just boop. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, that's what happens when you uh, routinely overextend like that. And while most of his overextensions were on stage, just tried to go for the kill, early jump. Mm -hmm. Almost a, a, like a lazy recovery, just like jump early or immediate up B. Nope. Yep, no. Nope. So. <laughs>